It's our story. Kathy Martinez, Berkeley, California. Well, I think one of the things that Wood's doing that, that we're really excited about is we're starting to work with the Latino community. And um, as you may know, the, Latino commu- the Latinos are the largest growing population in the U.S. And by the year, I think it's like 2025, Latinos will be, you know, almost 40% of the population in the U.S. So, and one of the things that um, is changing about the independent living movement in the U.S. is, you know, before the, the leaders and the shapers of the independent living movement have primarily been white. So um, there have, you know, there's been some cultural um, overlays, I guess you would say, you know, that are part of our movement that don't really fit when you try to bring the movement to other cultures in the U.S. and Native Americans are, are an example of that. <clears throat> and so WIT has a project called Proyecto Vision where we're trying to um, really increase the uh, employment opportunities for Latinos with disabilities, get information out in Spanish, um, train and uh, prepare Latinos to be leaders um, within their communities, train the Latino community service system to include people with disabilities and try and help you know be a bridge to bring the uh, more cultural perspectives into the overall independent living movement the disability rights movement so that's one thing another thing is that um, there's a, there's been a number of civil wars in countries all over the world in the last uh, 10 years and one of the things that seems to be bringing people together is disability because no matter who wins or loses the war the disabled people sort of always get left in the dust so one concept that we're working on in the country of Georgia is um, through the use of a wheelchair factory we are um, trying to bring folks together not only to develop a business to make money but you use the wheelchair factory as sort of a central point so people can come together and learn advocacy strategies to you know to so they can start um, developing programs for people with disabilities and and you know advocating for their own rights the it's our story project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the it's our story project youtube channel